A globe valve regulates flow in a pipeline. It is used to control or stop the flow of liquid or gas through a pipe. Globe valves are named for their spherical body shape with the two halves of the body being separated by an internal baffle. Although these valves exhibit slightly higher pressure drops than gate, ball valves, they may be used where the pressure drop through the valve is not a controlling factor. Globe valves are also known as throttle valves, explains globe valve. A globe valve is primarily designed to stop, start and regulate flow. It is comprised of a movable disc type element and a stationary ring seat in a generally spherical body. The seat of a globe valve is in the middle of and parallel to the pipe, and the opening in the seat is closed off with a disc or plug. Globe valves can be structured to handle flow in either direction. The most common application of the globe valve is a standard water faucet. When the handle is turned, a disc is lowered or raised. When the disc is fully lowered, the water supply is shut off. When the disc is fully raised, the water flow is at its maximum rate. In large industrial applications, a globe valve may be sealed using an electrical, pneumatic, or hydraulic actuator instead of a manual handle. The baffle inside a globe valve causes the product to divert its direction to move through the baffle. This angled movement means that the product cannot flow as freely and causes a pressure drop after the valve. Globe valves are generally unsuitable for slurries or thicker substances that can be impeded by the baffle. Due to its pressure susceptibility and corrosion potentiality, to avert premature failure and to assure satisfactory service, one should consider. Range of flow control pressure drop intended duty. Typical applications of globe valves include cooling water systems where flow needs to be regulated fuel oil systems where flow is regulated and water tightness is of importance high point vents and low point drains when water tightness and safety are major considerations feed water chemical feed condenser air extraction and extraction drain systems boiler vents and drains main steam vents and drains and heater drains turbine seals and drains turbine lube oil system Control valves process plants consist of hundreds, or even thousands, of control loops all networked together to produce a product to be offered for sale. Each of these control loops is designed to keep some important process variables such as pressure, flow, level, temperature, etc. within a required operating range to ensure the quality of the end product. Each of these loops receives and internally creates disturbances that detrimentally affect the process variable and interaction from other loops in the network provides disturbances that influence the process variable. To reduce the effect of these load disturbances, sensors and transmitters collect information about the process variable and its relationship to some desired set point. A controller then processes this information and decides what must be done to get the process variable back to where it should be after a load disturbance occurs. When all the measuring, comparing, and calculating are done, some type of final control element must implement the strategy selected by the controller. What is a check valve? Whether you work with large diameter pipe, or tiny intricate precision tubing lines, check valves are incredibly useful. They can help pumps keep pumping, pressure vessels stay pressurized, and reduce waste from blowouts and line breakage. What does a check valve do? To put it simply, Check valves act as a one-way gate within your system. Pressure applied to the inlet will be able to pass with little impedance. However, if pressure is applied to the outlet side, the valve will close. This keeps media, gases or liquids, flowing in the desired direction and preventing backflow. This sounds like it would require some complex engineering or computer assistance to accomplish this. Nevertheless, Check valves are typically quite simple in design and exclusively mechanically operated. This means that check valves are also highly reliable, especially from reputable manufacturers. A check valve's pressure rating refers to both the working pressure as well as what kind of pressure the valve closure can contain. It goes without saying that you should never use a check valve above the stated working pressure. Choosing a check valve for your system When adding a check valve to your system there are a few factors to consider. The first thing to consider is the connection size that you are working with. This can seriously impact the amount of type options that are available. 
If you are working in flanged pipe for instance, you'll most likely be limited to swing and gravity operated ball checks. Next, figure out the minimum amount flow needed for your application. You'll want to choose a valve that, at very least, meets your flow needs. These numbers can be calculated using CFM, cubic feet per minute, or CV, valve flow coefficient. Finally, you'll need to choose a cracking pressure that is adequate for the task. Since cracking pressure is a topic that's a little more involved, I've given it its own section. What is cracking pressure? Cracking pressure is a set pressure that is based on the strength of the spring in the valve. A common cracking pressure is 10 psi, with no external factors, that is the pressure that would be required to open a valve of this rating. However, it's not quite that simple. There are a couple of things that can affect how this number actually comes into play. Back pressure Back pressure adds to the cracking pressure of the valve. By this I mean that if you had a system containing 200 psi and a check valve on the feed line with a 10 psi cracking pressure, you would actually have to generate 210 psi at the inlet before the valve would open. This check valve remains closed because while back pressure and forward pressure are equal which will not overcome the extra 10 lb added by the spring. The valve pictured here is not open. Evan thought the back pressure and forward pressure are the same. This is because forward pressure must also overcome the added 10 lb of the spring. Gravity on mostly linear systems, this may not make a noticeable difference. Nonetheless, if you are putting a check valve near a tall vertical run, the weight of the contents of the line will change the, the cracking pressure. If the check valve is oriented to feed the vertical, it will add to the cracking pressure. If it is oriented to be fed by the vertical, it will subtract from the cracking pressure. Gate valve. How it works a gate valve is a control valve that either allows media to flow through unobstructed or stops the fluid flow. The main advantage of a gate valve is the straight through unobstructed passageway, which induces minimal pressure loss over the valve. The unobstructed bore of a gate valve also allows for a pig's passage in cleaning pipe procedures, unlike butterfly valves. However, gate valves are slower than quarter turn valves and should only be used in the fully open or closed position, not to regulate the flow. Automated gate valves exist with either an electric or pneumatic actuator, but a manual gate valve is cost effective since gate valves are typically used infrequently. Gate valves are also commonly referred to as sluice gate valves. Gate valve operation A gate valve operates similar to other valves. To open the valve, turn the handwheel, A, which moves the gate, G, up or down on the stem, B, via the threads. A gate valve requires more than one 360 degrees turn to open or close the valve fully. When the gate is lifted up, it opens the inlet to the outlet allowing an unobstructed passageway for the media to flow. When the gate is lowered, it closes and blocks the media flow. The relationship between the gate's vertical travel and the flow rate is nonlinear for a gate valve, with the greatest changes occurring near complete closure. When used to regulate flow, the relatively high velocity of the flow at partial opening results in gate and seat wear, which along with possible vibrations of the gate, shortens the valve's service life. Therefore, a gate valve should only be used for on-off control. Ball valve and how does it work? A ball valve is a shut-off valve that allows, obstructs, and controls the flow of liquids, gases, and vapors in a piping system by rotating the ball having a bore inside the valve. The ball is mounted against two seats and has a shaft that connects it to the operating and control mechanism that rotates the ball. When the cross section of the bore is perpendicular to the area of the flow, the fluid is not permitted to pass through the valve. The fluid flows through from the valve, and the fluid flow rate depends on the area of the bore exposed to the floor. Devantages and limitations of ball valves The benefits of using a ball valve are the following. Ball valves induce a low pressure drop compared to other types of valves since the flow has minimal restrictions. In liquids, a high pressure drop across a valve may result in turbulence and cavitation. Cavitation happens when the liquid pressure falls below the critical pressure, the vapor phase of the liquid is formed. As the pressure recovers, 
the bubbles collapse which damages the valve. Since it only requires a one-quarter turn to fully shut off or open, the ball valves immediately restrict or allow flow. This advantage is important for controlling the liquid level of a tank or a reservoir. A small amount of torque or a small actuator is needed to rotate the ball valve. Lubrication is unnecessary because of the surface properties of the seats. Ball valves offer a reduced chance of leakage because the ball seals tightly against the seats. The sealing action is done by fluid pressure. Several ball valve designs are available to satisfy a specific application. Some ball valve designs feature pressure relief, variable flow rate control, flow splitting, and mixing, etc. Ball valves are relatively cheaper. There are several limitations the user must remember to preserve the functionality of the ball valve. Throttling is possible in ball valves, but it should be sustained for a long time. When the ball valve is in a throttling position, the seats are exposed to the high-velocity fluid flow and more compressive force, which causes erosion. Therefore, it is not advisable for throttling applications. Standard ball valves may be used in throttling low-pressure gases. Segmented ball valves may be used in limited throttling applications. However, advanced ball valves with modified designs or seats made from engineered materials that are suitable for throttling applications are commercially available. Application is limited by the maximum allowable working temperature of the seats. For higher temperatures, metal or ceramic seats are an alternative. Suspended particles may build up between the body and ball causing leakage, erosion, and valve failure. Hence, it is advised to do frequent maintenance on ball valves handling slurries and suspensions. Safety relief valves The primary function of a safety valve is to protect property and life. Because a safety valve is often the last device to prevent catastrophic failure under pressure conditions, it is important that the valve works at all times i.e. it must be 100% reliable. Safety valves should be installed wherever the maximum allowable working pressure of a system or pressure containing vessel is likely to be exceeded, in particular under fault conditions due to the failure of another piece of equipment in the system. Pressure excess can be generated in a number of different ways including failure of a cooling system allowing vapor or fluid to expand, compressed air or electrical power failure to control instrumentation, plant fires during the startup conditions of a plant. The term, safety valve, and relief valve, are generic terms to describe a variety of pressure relief devices. A wide range is available based on the application and required performance criteria. Definitions Pressure relief valve. This is a general term, which includes safety valves, relief valves and safety relief valves. A spring-loaded pressure relief valve which is designed to open to relieve excess pressure and to reclose and prevent the further flow of fluid after normal conditions have been restored. It is characterized by a rapid opening, pop, action or by opening in a manner generally proportional to the increase in pressure over the opening pressure. It may be used for either compressible or incompressible fluids, depending on design, adjustment, or application. Safety valve. A pressure relief valve actuated by inlet static pressure and characterized by rapid opening or pop action. Relief valve. A pressure relief device actuated by inlet static pressure having a gradual lift generally proportional to the increase in pressure over opening pressure. Safety relief valve. A pressure relief valve characterized by rapid opening or pop action, or by opening in proportion to the increase in pressure over the opening pressure depending on the application, and which may be used either for liquid or compressible fluid.